So these are the steps. Um, if you've already got the device and it's just not working and it was working before, then you're going to want to reinstall and use these same instructions. Start by unplugging the reader, uninstall any software and add remove programs that has the uh, SIG uh, prefix and reboot your computer. Uh, and whether you're reinstalling or not, this is where you start off. Download the SIG plus EXE file from this address. If you click on that link, it will download it and put it down at the bottom. Now you're going to want to run that file. This just tells you the size of the file as administrator. So I've got an example down here of SIG plus EXE, and you would right click on it, run as administrator. Don't try to do it uh, without that. We want all the possible assurances and uh, non permission issues. You know, we want to get past any of that. Um, when you install that, you're going to be surprised at how old it looks. This software looks like it's the same software they've been using since uh, Windows 95. It's a, really a bit a sad testimony. Um, and uh, when you install it, it's going to ask you along the way uh, what model you have. So select the right model for you. For me, this is what it was. And you want to say yes to leave a demo on the desktop. Reboot your system. Very important. Do not plug your device in yet. Uh, or you may fail the entire process. Reboot your system first. Once it's rebooted and it comes up and you're back to a desktop, then plug in your device and you'll get a notification from Windows 10 in the lower right corner telling you your device has been recognized, drivers loaded, ready to go. That's what you're looking for. Now, the next step is to install the web server. Um, these devices require some kind of server that's always running in the background uh, and listening for activity from this device. So you're going to need to download SIGWEB.exe from this address. You see you've got a download link right there. Go ahead and take, take that and that will download an icon like I show down here. And once again, you don't want to just open it. You want to show in the folder, right click, run as administrator, get all the advantages of being an administrator and uh, no permission issues. Then select your model when prompted. This is my model. Once again, recommending you reboot the computer. Take all the possible mystery out of there. Start fresh. Everything's loaded. Everything's ready. Now, we want to verify that the web server is running. And you can do that by clicking on this link. That'll take you to SIGWebTablet.com's awaiting interface. And when you get there, that's what it should look like. I know it's not very impressive. You would expect something at the top that said congratulations, success, something, but you don't get that. But at least you get this, and you know that's what you're supposed to get. Um, you might get an error, a white screen, telling you that uh, you, it doesn't detect whatever it needs to detect. Uh, actually, what it's going to be looking for is that the server is running in the background. If the server is not running, and I talk about that here, you may need to uninstall SIGWeb and reinstall it this time without booting, uh, and see if indeed it picks it up at that point. Now that everything's working the way it's supposed to, you can test things on this demo site. Now, they probably have other demo sites. This one is specific to the 1x5. Uh, I'm kind of curious. Okay, so I poked around a little bit for you, and I found this web page which has a lot, if you click on the link web once you get there, there's a lot of interesting test possibilities here. Uh, for instance, okay, you can see on the right we've got these browser SDKs. You've also got some ActiveX HTML based. And um, if we look at, if I click on one of these, you see it actually takes you to the same page that I uh, was using for my particular product but you've also got some others for if you are using a 4x3, 4x5, and so on. I've kind of found that they work pretty much the same way. So let's give you a demonstration. Okay, I'm going to click on this 1x5 interactive demo. I'm then going to click on the Start button. I'm going to take just a minute for that to communicate. You'll see the Start button goes gray. At the point that goes gray, this information will be fed back to my tablet device. You should see something. That's, a, that's kind of a read test. It lets them know that they're talking to each other. And it tells you to press continue. You're going to want to press the continue that's on the lower end here. 
Uh, there's sometimes a little confusion. Please press continue, but this is what you're looking for. And I should be getting, this is what happens when it's not working. You get no feedback at all. Okay, that indicates you've got a problem. I don't know, to troubleshoot this problem, I'm gonna, I find the SIGWEB EXE. I'm going to um, end that task and then restart it. There. Now, the server is no longer running, and we get this error, unable to communicate. That's good. I'm going to go to downloads. I'm just going by uh, gut here at this point and seeing if any of it is, why does this happen? <laughs> to troubleshoot this problem, I completely uninstalled SigWeb. Um, that's the server. I reinstalled it. I rebooted the computer. I reinstalled the driver. Nothing worked. Or well, so it seemed. I've had this happen twice. At that point, I did nothing. I left my computer. I went on about my life. And I came back later that day, and everything worked fine. So I don't know if it was 15 minutes or two hours, or I don't know if it was another program that I might have run that somehow interacted with this program. It might have been the browser that was closed long enough. Um, but this did work. Um, it just, for some reason, I have had it to where it stopped working, and which it was working before this demonstration. And then uh, after reinstalling everything, after some time period, magically everything starts to work again. So I don't know what that is. So it, I'm sure you've enjoyed this tutorial, and that might be what you'd call an anticlimactic finish line. Um, but it gives you all the information there really is and uh, including that last little bit that um, might be a common scenario. So I suspect it might have been a browser, but I closed browsers. It still didn't work. Um, but then after, uh, after a time leaving the office and coming back, lo and behold, it worked.